Hey, what is up guys? It's Jeff. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about six cheap and easy C4 Corvette mods. Right now I'm just heading home from spraying off the C4. She was a little dirty, so I had to make her a little more presentable for the video. And once we get home, we will jump into it. Currently we have 81,240 miles on the C4. So that means I put just over 1,600 miles on the car since I bought it last August. That's not too bad. So funny story guys, in a previous video I showed the mileage on the car and someone commented and said, are we just gonna ignore the fact that this car has over 800,000 miles on it? I honestly still haven't decided if he was kidding or if he was serious. If he was kidding, I did chuckle. If he was serious, then he thinks that the 10th mile dial on the odometer is part of the actual mileage and bless his little heart. Anyways, just thought it was funny. It's cold in Utah today, guys. Like 28 degrees cold, but that's okay. We're gonna power through. The first cheap and easy mod is LED bulbs for the underhood lights. You can find these for less than 10 bucks and they're super easy to install. Basically you remove this cover that's held on by two screws, pull out the old bulb and then pop in the new one. Make sure you're careful with these covers guys because they are real glass and they will break. I have had a couple close calls so FYI. These bulbs are definitely more effective and efficient than halogen bulbs. They're brighter, they operate at a lower temperature, they use less energy, and they will last longer. I think these bulbs are especially great for the C4 because they reduce the concern of draining the battery or burning out the bulbs prematurely while you have the hood up to work on the car. A lot of companies offer LED bulbs for the C4, but I will put a link in the description below to this set that I went with. The next cheap and easy mod is these redesigned clips for the privacy cover. You can get these for 13 bucks from Eckler's Corvette and the installation is really easy and doesn't take long at all. Each clip is held in place with just two screws. Here is what the factory clip looks like compared to the redesigned one. So on these cars the privacy cover can have a tendency to slip underneath the factory clip on one side or both and work its way back which results in the privacy cover bunching up. This is really annoying and prevents the privacy cover from doing its job. I was experiencing this issue on the passenger side so I got these clips and they work great. As you can see the clips are designed to hold the privacy cover securely in place and prevent it from slipping underneath this plastic piece and working its way back. So yeah, this is a great little mod. So far I haven't had any issues and I will put a link to these in the description below. Another cheap and easy C4 Corvette mod is a high flow K&N air filter. There's a quick look at mine. Hopefully you can see that okay. You can get one for about $80 or less from many different companies like Summit Racing, Jegs Performance, and obviously K&N. These are great because they improve airflow, which will increase horsepower and they are reusable. So you wouldn't ever have to replace your filter again. A while back, I made a video that shows how much power you can expect to gain from a high flow air filter based on dyno tests. And I will link that video in the corner here as well as the description below if you are interested in checking it out. These are super easy to install guys. Obviously it's just a matter of replacing the old air filter. The only maintenance required for the filter is to clean and re-oil it about every 50,000 miles. Some guys will say that the oil from the filter will damage your mass airflow sensor, but I've been using these filters on my cars for the last 20 years and I've never had an issue. This is by far the most expensive mod that I'm going to mention in this video, but the fact that it adds horsepower, it's reusable, and it will last forever makes it well worth the money. Again, you can buy these from many different places, but I will link K&N's website in the description below. Man, I just love that badge. It's beautiful. The next cheap and easy mod is the air lid mod. As you can see, there is a little lid that covers the air filter and the air box. Here's a look at the lid and air box in factory form. I would say that this air box is from an 85 to 89 Corvette and the air box from later model C4s might look a little different, but the concept is still the same, so just be aware of that. Basically, if you cut out the vented center section of the airbox lid with an angle grinder, more air can flow into the filter. So this is pretty much a free mod if you have the right tools and a little bit of time. This mod was already done to my car when I bought it, and as you can see, it was a little bit of a hack job. The cuts are a little uneven, and there's a few sharp edges left over that I still need to remove, like that right there. 
that's just waiting to cut me. For those of you who might not be comfortable with power tools or worried that you'll do a hack job and your lid will turn out like mine, you can buy a lid that is already cut. They run about 50 to 60 bucks and that is definitely a good alternative to cutting it yourself. Obviously, if you go that route, you'll have cleaner cuts and a nicer finish. I'll put a link to an already modified lid that I found in the description below. Another cheap and easy mod is the throttle body airfoil. This can be done to any L98 or LT1 Corvette. A lot of different companies offer these and you can get one for around 30 bucks. The install is really easy and straightforward. As you can see, it's just held in by one screw. These throttle bodies have some dead space from the factory that causes turbulence in the airflow. So this little guy smooths it out and improves it. These do improve performance by slightly increasing horsepower and torque. And if you don't believe me, check out the superchevy.com article in the description below. A lot of guys will say that this is a waste of money and it doesn't do anything, but it does. I have one on both my Corvette and my 95 Z28, which has the LT1 motor. And I think that this is actually one of the best bang for your buck mods that you can do. There's a lot of different options for these on eBay, and I'll put a link in the description below. The last cheap and easy C4 Corvette mod that I'm gonna mention is the throttle body coolant bypass mod. This can be done to any L98 or LT1 engine. You can buy a kit for about 20 bucks or you can get what you need from an auto parts store for about five to 10 bucks. You basically just need a little coupler and a couple hose clamps. This little kit here is for an LT1 engine and I will link it in the description below. Essentially, this mod allows you to bypass the very hot coolant flow through the throttle body, which will allow cooler air to flow through the throttle body and plenum which then results in a slight increase in power. As you can see, I've done this mod to my Corvette and I've also done it to my Camaro. If you wanna check out the videos I've made of me doing this mod to my cars and discussing the dyno proven gains that you can expect by doing it, I'll link them in the corner as well as the description below. There you go guys, six cheap and easy C4 Corvette mods. I think every C4 owner should do these, especially new C4 owners. These are definitely low hanging fruit mods and they are a great start to your build. That does it for this video guys. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for me. And I will see you in the next one.